Hey resellers, thanks so much for tuning into today's video. I have a very serious topic to discuss with you today. It is not the normal positive content that is on this channel. It is extremely dangerous and a bit narcissistic to assume that because something doesn't affect you, it doesn't affect anyone. So let's shed some light on the darkness that is the counterfeit industry. If you're new here, my name is Rachel Strickland. I resell vintage and luxury goods on online marketplaces such as eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. In buying and selling luxury goods, I am often asked to help authenticate items. Although this video is not about authentication, I have a video series that's coming out about authentication. I will use this video to answer the multitude of questions I am sure I will get asking why are counterfeit goods so bad? What is so wrong with a cheap bag? Here we go. The counterfeit industry in and of itself is said to be the second oldest industry in the world. Counterfeiting goods is not a new thing, but as technology spreads, we have so much access to products and services across the globe, and that has caused counterfeit goods to permeate our culture, our lives, and now reselling. Before you click off the video, I have a very important quote I want to read you from a very important book. I'm asking one thing, if you can listen to this one quote and you still see nothing wrong with the counterfeit industry, Industry, I cannot help you and you have full permission to click off of this video. If not, if what I'm about to share with you bothers you, then you owe it to the people that you are about to hear about to watch this video and learn why you should never sell counterfeit goods. This quote comes to us from a book called Deluxe, How Luxury Lost Its Luster by Dana Thomas. I remember walking into an assembly plant in Thailand a couple years ago and seeing six or seven little children, all under 10 years old, sitting on the floor assembling counterfeit leather handbags, an investigator told me. The owners had broken the children's legs and tied the lower leg to the thigh so the bones would not mend. They did it because the children said they wanted to go outside and play. That is by and large the saddest thing I have read or said to you on this channel, but I owe it to those children and every child who feels forgotten or overlooked in this industry to share this with you and not let my platform be in vain and educate you on what you're buying or what you're selling when you trade counterfeit merchandise. So what exactly is a counterfeit product? Fake bags, accessories, clothing, and more can often masquerade around under different names. They are often called dupes, look-alikes, replica, faux, inspired. All of these are gussied up names for a fake counterfeit product. Counterfeit products bear the original manufacturer's logo with the intent to deceive the end purchaser into believing that they have bought that item. What does not constitute as a fake? Well, those would be products that are possibly inspired or taking inspiration from a luxury brand, but not bearing that logo. For instance, not every quilted flap bag is counterfeit Chanel. Some bags readily available by retailers um, may take inspiration from a bag, but they're not pretending to be that bag. It's important to know the difference. We've all seen those shoes at Walmart that look like Crocs, but they don't bear the Croc logo. It is a cheaper version for people to pull off a similar style, but they're not counterfeit products because they are not pretending to be a Croc. Do you understand? I hope that we're on the same page. So what gets counterfeited? Well, there are many luxury brands that are often counterfeited, such as Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Hermes, Ray-Ban, Oakley, Nike, Yeezy. You may be surprised to find out that the counterfeit industry does not stop there. There are a list of items that are very dangerously counterfeited, including electronics, climbing gear, car parts, airbags, and yes, even baby formula. Now, would you want the same industry that I described to you in our opening quote to be responsible for manufacturing the baby food that your child ingests? You may not know, but the counterfeit industry is responsible for the loss of over 750,000 American jobs. A cheap bag or a cheap pair of sunglasses or shoes is not just a cheap product. The counterfeit industry is not just illegal in America. This is internationally recognized as a problem worldwide. So the people behind this industry are international criminals. Now, do you think that an international criminal is going to ensure that the product that you are buying is manufactured ethically under best business practices? That's a no. That's an absolute no. 
I cannot see a fake Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada, Ray-Ban item without seeing child labor, without seeing a sweatshop, without seeing human trafficking and sex slavery, because that is exactly what the counterfeit industry is. Now let me lay a little heavier knowledge down on you here and tell you that the counterfeit industry's sole purpose is not to create, manufacture, and sell counterfeit bags. The counterfeit industry's purpose is to fund even more illegal activity. You see, counterfeit goods are mainly sold for cash. That cash is largely untrackable and untraceable and goes to fund drug cartels and gun running. Now again, I'd have to ask, is that something you would like to support for the sake of carrying LV on your shoulder? I could go deeper into how dark this industry is, but I think you get the point. So let's talk about the next question I get asked very often, and that is, Rachel, what is the harm in reselling the product? If I purchased a counterfeit item at a thrift store, the harm in funding that illegal organization has already been done. What is the harm in me reselling it? First and foremost, I want to talk about how it directly affects you. Selling or even purchasing counterfeit goods is illegal and is punishable in America on your first offense by up to five years in prison and up to $2 million in fines. If you would gladly trade five years of your life or $2 million for the sake of a $500 sale of a fake bag, then again, I cannot help you. The second point I'd like to make in reselling known counterfeit items is even if you disclose in your eBay listing, your Poshmark, wherever you plan on selling this item, some people will sell them directly to their friends and they will disclose, hey, this is not genuine. This is a dupe. This is a lookalike. Whatever beautiful lipstick they'd like to put on a pig that is a counterfeit item, it is still a counterfeit item. And when they sell to someone who knows that it's counterfeit, that is not the last user of the product. Unless they destroy that product, product when they're done with it, it will likely go to someone else. That is how many of these items end up in thrift stores. I don't want this fake coach bag anymore. I'm just going to donate it. Someone walks into the thrift store, buys it, and eventually sells it to someone under the pretense of it being a genuine bag. This girl who has saved up all of her pennies for her first designer bag buys it and is completely fooled. Or worst case scenario, you're selling these things online and you are disclosing that they're fake and someone with the illest of intent purchases the bag knowing that they are going to sell it to someone claiming that it is authentic. You must keep in mind that the person that you are selling an item to is almost never the end user. They will not keep and maintain that product the remainder of its life. It will at some point end up in someone else's hand and if it's a counterfeit good, you know someone is going to be fooled. Let's discuss a question that I also get asked and I am prepared to be asked in this video series I am creating on authenticating items and what inauthentic items look like. When I destroy these bags, people ask me, why did you not donate the item, Rachel? And I appreciate that question because I am soft hearted and want to donate all of my time and energy and resources to those in need also. Let me tell you the danger of donating these products to others. If the simple act of counterfeiting a product is illegal and the way in which these products are manufactured is illegal, what in the world would cause you to believe that the materials these products are made out of are not also illegal and dangerous? Recently, many high profile, low cost clothing and accessory websites have come under fire as consumers have become aware of large amounts of lead. Many of the products ordered that arrive in plastic packaging, whenever you pull them out, have a very strong smell. That smell is formaldehyde. So we're talking about toxic chemicals that would be dangerous to come in contact with your body, dangerous if ingested by a child. With my background as a realtor, we had to learn about lead poisoning and we learned that it takes enough lead the size of three grains of salt to poison a child. So asking me to donate products that I know contain dangerous chemicals to a women's shelter or to children in need makes no sense to me. If your heart is in donating products and services to women and children in need, I commend you. I think that is incredible and I would encourage you to do the same thing that I do. Donate. Donate quality products. Do not give someone in need something you yourself would not use. I will not donate toxic trash to women and children in need. I will not defend that choice in future videos. It will never happen. The dangers and toxicity of counterfeit products does not end in 
clothing and accessories. Counterfeit electronics come with counterfeit batteries that often overheat to dangerous levels. Recently, a Tennessee family sued Amazon for $30 million after they purchased a counterfeit hoverboard from the website, gave it to their son as a Christmas present, and days after Christmas, their home burned to the ground. They narrowly escaped with their lives when the counterfeit hoverboard caught on fire. Counterfeit goods are not harmless. They are not harmless to the people creating them. They are not harmless to the end user. They are dangerous for you to purchase and dangerous for you to sell. Counterfeit makeups and cosmetics also pose a risk and have sent many to the hospital through, again, dangerous levels of formaldehyde, lead, and other toxins that should never come into contact with your skin. If you acquire counterfeit products and you now know they're dangerous, the very last thing you should do with them would be to donate them to someone who is already struggling in life. Do not donate these counterfeit and dangerous products to a shelter. Aim at not purchasing counterfeit products in the first place by educating yourself on what authentic items look like prior to your purchase. The last reason I'll mention why you should never sell counterfeit products is that your reputation and often your online selling accounts are at stake when you do so. Recently, I was in a high-end consignment shop and I saw what looked like a Chanel wallet in the case. Now the closer that I got I realized about 80% sure that this was not an authentic Chanel wallet. I asked the woman, the store owner behind the counter, if I could see the wallet. She brings it up, presents it to me, never mentions to me that she understands it is not real. It was only after I said this wallet is not real that she agreed with me and said, oh yes, of course not, not at that price. Which led me to believe that she would have allowed me to purchase this item without ever discussing with me that it is counterfeit and potentially harmful. Now this same store had so many cool luxury brands in it, but every one that I looked at, I had to question the authenticity. She put her reputation on the line selling that in authentic product. And if you have an online presence as a reseller and you agree to sell counterfeit products, even if it's just to your followers and you have said, hey, this is fake, understand that anyone purchasing from your store would have to question in the back of their mind whether or not the items that they're buying from you are authentic or not. Do not put your reputation on the line in an industry where reputation means so much. If I question an item's authenticity, I would absolutely never bring it to market for you guys. Not on Instagram, not in my backyard, not in the living room, not on eBay, anywhere. I am not going to sell that product, period, and that should be your stance as well. I will never defend or support the counterfeit industry, and you shouldn't either. And although it leaves us feeling powerless at some points, there are things that you can do. Number one would be to ensure all products that you sell are authentic. If you sell on eBay, that may be through the eBay Authenticity Guarantee Program, which covers high-end designer sneakers and handbags. There are exclusions to the program and it doesn't cover everything. I have seen a lot of resellers recently listing products on eBay and just assuming that eBay would authenticate that item. That is not the case. I recently sold a Louis Vuitton checkbook cover for $150 that went through no authentication. If I were not able to authenticate that item on my own, I could have passed along a counterfeit product. If the buyer found that item to be counterfeit, I could have lost my store. Poshmark and Mercari have similar programs, but again, there are limitations. Do not place an item on the marketplace assuming that the platform is going to authenticate that item for you. That is your job. There are many steps you could take to authenticate those items prior to listing them. You could send someone like me a picture of the item and I will help you with whatever knowledge I have about that brand and give you my opinion, which is not an expert opinion, but my opinion about whether or not that item is authentic. You can take it one step further and use apps like Check Check. I have not personally use check check but I understand you can send in photos of sneakers and I looked at their pricing strategy they have what's called the reseller package where you can get 20 verifications 20 credits for only $15 that is 75 cents and could help prevent you from losing your account by selling counterfeit goods if you are not positive the item you have is authentic that may honestly be an avenue worth pursuing another great option is right here on YouTube there are so many great videos about authenticating bags and the series that I have coming up I'm I'm going to be talking about fake bags and how I know that they're fake. I'm going to be showing you guys fake bags and exactly what makes them fake. Really to empower you when you're out thrifting. If you see one of these telltale signs, you will know what it looks like and you will know to run and not to pick up that item. Some of the items that I'm going to be destroying in this video series were sent in to me by other resellers who unknowingly purchased them, understood then that they were fake and want to see them go to some good use. And so that is exactly why I'm going to make videos showing you guys what to 
look for. So when in doubt about authentication, check on YouTube and see if someone has created a video that can help you to authenticate the item. Lastly, look to websites like Real Authentication. They authenticate high-end merchandise as low as $30 for an authentication. And for an upgrade, you can have an answer from Real Authentication and as little as an hour. Now, if you have been duped by someone who sold you counterfeit goods, again, you may feel powerless, but let me encourage you by telling you what to do with that information. The US government has set up a hotline as well as a website where you can report the sale of counterfeit merchandise. The phone number is 1-866-999-HALT, H-A-L-T, and the website is stopfakes.gov. I will link both below in the description as well as the other apps and websites that I've discussed. In researching for this video, I came across a website that linked to 10 different organizations and charities that are dedicated to ending child labor. If what you heard about in this video bothers you, and it should, I want you to click on that link in the description as well and consider how you can help an organization like this whose mission is to rescue children in these types of circumstances and get them into school and restore their childhood and give them the life they were meant to live. I hope we've all learned something here. I know when I first learned about counterfeit goods, it was eye-opening to me. Although I have never liked or appreciated counterfeit or fake items, there was a point in my life which I believed that they were just cheap bags. They are not just cheap bags. Comment and let me know what you learned in this video and how this may change the way you look at counterfeit items. This video is important to share. Share it with someone. Share it with a reseller you know who may be at risk of selling counterfeit items and facing the repercussions. The immediate videos I have coming up, we will be destroying fake coach bags, fake Louis Vuitton, and fake Gucci belts. I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that all of this information will help you to treat your business like your business. Alrighty. <laughs>